Hi, I'm Phil Constantine, and this is Travels with Phil. Today we're going to the historic Yates Mill in Raleigh, North Carolina. And yes, that is the official title, Historic Yates Mill. And this was started in the 1750s, and it's the only operational mill still left in uh, North Carolina. Let's go to a video that they produced there at the mill. As the control gate is raised and water flows into the water wheels buckets, it begins to turn. The attached ring gear turns as well. This gear is meshed with a pinion gear on the end of the mill's main horizontal drive shaft. Through several different power transfer systems, this long axle supplies the energy needed to operate all the chain drive that rotates a secondary horizontal axle, a gear cluster, and a vertical spindle that takes power to the wheat grinding stones. Wheat becomes flour at Yates Mill. Using Oliver Evans's 18th century technology, the process of turning wheat into fine flour is fully automated. That carries it up to a rolling screen cleaner on the third floor where harvest debris is removed. Next, the wheat travels to a hopper and is fed through a chute down to a second cleaner known as a scourer located on the second floor. The friction of the grinding process makes the meal warm. Power is spread out on the floor and cooled by a mechanized rake called the hopper boy, then fed through a hole in the floor to an auger which hangs on the ceiling of the second floor that conveys the flour inside the bolter. The bolter's revolving hexagonal reel is covered with three different weaves of silk cloth that sift the flour from the cooled wheat meal and separate it into three grades. And that's how we make wheat flour at Yates Mill. This is just outside of Raleigh, North Carolina. I like the sign there that says Northern Water Snake Habitat. Please don't disturb the snakes. Okay, I'll try not to. But uh, this is a really pretty spot out here and I'll just be quiet for a moment or two so you can listen. Well, it is next door, was All right, enjoy. And these are some of the millstones that are used to grind the meal. These are actual millstones. This is the things that ground together on one on top, one on the bottom to uh, grind up your meal or your grains, corn, wheat, whatever. So it came out into the pottery stuff like flour. I hear about somebody saying I had a millstone around my neck. That's what they mean. A very big chunk of rock. Well, all right. I hope you've enjoyed this trip to the historic Yates Mill in North Carolina. You can leave comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, just click the button over on the right hand side. Thanks again.